There is the Go Home Raw before SummerSlam. The main event is returning a reuniting tag team versus Camp Cornette, a.k.a. Owen Part and British Bulldog. We get Mark Merritt defeating Bob Backlund, who will be out of the company in probably a month or two. Then we get Vader, Shawn Michaels, and Jerry Lawler contract signing. Jerry Lawler hosts it. Vader ends up attacking Shawn Michaels and leaves him laying. We then get the Godfather versus 1 2 3 Kid with the 1 2 3 Kid beating the Godfather. Just another match to put on the card, you know. See if these guys, like, you know, have a chemistry, so, you know, ne you never know down the line. Be a good match to have. British Bulldog challenges the Undertaker to match, and the Undertaker responds and accepts the challenge. We then get the Body Dons and Goldust versus Ken Shamrock, Savia Vega, and Ahmed Johnson. With Ken Shamrock, actually Ahmed Johnson defeating Goldust by the Pearl River Plunge. And then Stone Cold cuts a promo on Roddy Piper for their match at SummerSlam. And the Rockers reunite versus Camp Barnett. And Owen Hart is disqualified when Vader ran in and attacks Shawn Michaels to end Raw. Now, I, I pulled another thing out of my hat with Kent Cornette versus Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty. I know Marty Jannetty and Shawn Michaels have good chemistry or a good team. I know Kent Cornette are a good team. So, I just use that because I figured it would be a good main event and I'd continue the Cornette storyline for Shawn Michaels. Here I think I beat WCW again. In 82, what I have? I had an 83, I had 11,000, and 13,000. Here, what happened in that? Rick Flair defeated Scott Hall. Uh, the giant Kevin Nash defeats the tag champs Lex Luger and Sting. Nothing real special. So. I take the win there. That's three weeks in a row. I beat them in the ratings, which I'm not a big ratings junkie on like that. I just want to see. I'm more of a characters. Like I want to get as many characters over as possible because that leads to better ratings. But I also don't like just having crappy shows week after week. And I want to put on the best shows possible. SummerSlam's gonna be up. SummerSlam about to book that and. Comes up this Sunday as it's Tuesday, week third, July ninety six. There's uh anyone in the era that wasn't that was like an ECW or indie guy or you know all that, and you want to see him in the company, let me know. Uh, I'm still, I don't think about. I'm not thinking the BWO works since Blue Meanie's so bad in the ring. I think Stevie Richards and Shawn Michaels don't get along, and I really don't want to piss off Shawn. Ever like someone like Stevie Richards, who's just a mid card guy. Uh, but if there's like any ECW guys, like RVD, I'll get down the line. It's he's too young in a career. I want to like leave him at a distance, but keep my eye on him. Sabu, I mean, eventually I guess I can bring him in, but I don't know how much I want to do with him. Him and RVD are a good tag team, so maybe you know can use him in that kind of thing, and then have him break off. So I think RVD is a hell of a contender and all that. So if there's anyone from ECW you want to see in the company, let me know. Tommy Dreamer I can't sign because he's loyal to ECW unless I sign with a paper appearance, which I can. You know, I have Al Snow on a paper appearance contract because I don't want to take him away from ECW. ECW most likely is going to go bankrupt in year the year 1999 or 2000 just because they're very low in funds and... Paul Heyman doesn't have like that kind of thing. He has like he keeps on signing guys. So once again, let me know if you want to see any ECW alum in the company and sell me on it. If you want to, if you sell me on it and sell me a good reason why, I'll do it. Thank you for watching.